there everybody I um, thought I would record a quick webinar for you today I had a problem happen to me yesterday and I when I was working on it I thought well maybe some others might have the same problem and and my solution to it might be a little helpful for you so I thought I'd go ahead and record something really quick um, I did a family session yesterday and I have it pulled up here on my screen you can see and I don't know if you've ever done that before where I, I had actually changed my settings. I was working in the studio under the studio strobes and I went to go capture one of the children really quickly off the studio strobes so I changed all my settings and then I didn't realize I was going to go back and I forgot and as you can see I've got about 10 shots here that I um, fired totally uh, exposures totally off and normally I would just delete those and get rid of them and I mean I definitely have enough other shots but this is a five-year-old little girl and she had a really bad case of the fake five-year-old smile mama had walked away at that moment and I got to work with her for a minute just her and I and I got a couple really natural smiles when I looked down at my camera and realized that I was completely overexposing the image and very frustrated because I knew I had the smile so I told the mom I'm, I'm always a uh, I like to be proactive rather than reactive so I told the mom I got a really great smile but I was totally off on my exposure I'm not sure whether I can fix anything but just wanted to let you know if I can uh, I'll do what I can with it so that way I'm not obligated to give her images that I was really excited about getting and but at the same time I, I, I pretty much knew what I could do on the back end so normally you might delete an image that's this overexposed and I'm just gonna pull it up so you can see really how badly it is um, yeah totally totally off oops you can see my fix sorry I refreshed <laughs> so maybe we'll do it on a different image it didn't refresh well this is the this is the image that I ended up fixing and it started like this all of these images were here so that's where we're gonna go to um, but that was a natural smile for her and I knew I had it and I didn't want to lose it uh, there was there was that fake five-year-old smile as you can see and that's not too bad so maybe we'll work on that one but it's sort of fake too but I want you to see the whole process so um, if you double click on a raw image now this would not be possible at all had I not shot completely raw and uh, knowing that that's why I didn't delete it so when you double click on an image out of bridge it will open into camera raw and this is where I'm going to do most all the fixing except for the final little bit of art piece that I'm going to add um, in Photoshop so the first thing I'm going to do is give myself in raw you have two stops of light on either end on you know so here I'm going to go negative two to get that back well look at that fix already you can see her <laughs> just giving myself that um, obviously it's still really blown the details are gone I'm not really going to be able to fix the um, the color that's all messed up I mean I guess I could make kind of a funky art piece if I wanted to and use some funky colors but I think the best option, easiest option for me, is just to go black and white on it. Normally I have other ways that I would convert to black and white in Photoshop, but in this case, because I know I'm going to go black and white and I want to get all of my adjustments in camera raw in that black and white, I'm going to go ahead and just desaturate this image. That's where I'm going to start with this one at. Um, and already I like it. Uh, it's a little flat right now, obviously, but uh, those are all things that I'm going to tweak really quickly. And really there's no magic numbers that I can give you to put in here it's going to depend on every image and what happened to it the important part I want you to see is that by shooting in camera raw you can offer a sort of almost art piece and gain back images that you know if you really have an expression that you don't want to throw away and you know it's in there and you exposed wrong uh, I don't ever really recommend Photoshop for fixing images I like it to enhance images um, and in this case I'm fixing I'm gonna uh, save something that would normally be trashed had I not shot in raw uh, and, that, and that I thought maybe would be beneficial to you to you um, when you overexpose you lose details in the highlights and it's really bad to overexpose but just taking and giving myself the negative two I'm gonna zoom in and show you giving myself the negative two on my exposure um, and desaturating I gained back quite a bit of detail in all this area the places it's gone is in the skin around here but look at her eyes I mean I, there's still quite a bit of detail there shooting in raw so with her face pretty close up so I don't I don't want to blow any more highlights than I can I can play with these numbers over here a little bit if I want to add a little more contrast I could let's see what adding um, 
just a little more contrast to it maybe the brightness I don't know I think I'm gonna keep the brightness um, if I uh, I'll show you what happens if I change it if I go all the way up on the brightness I'm totally taking it back out but if I go all the way down I also end up seeing where all my details are gone at so that's the there's kind of a balancing point there and it's gonna be up in the brightness level to make those areas kind of match so even as I'm sitting down here really low on brightness you can still see um, that so what I really need to do is uh, I guess the best thing is, see I got the detail back over here, but there's no possible way to get the detail back where I blew it. So the best thing is to kind of make the two sides balance and just almost blow the skin all the way around. So that's what I'm going to do. And as I move up and I get closer to the 40 range and the 50, although all my skin detail is blown, it now matches and it doesn't look so bad. I can take my black and add a little bit there as well. I'm probably going to go up to about 20 on my black and that just helps me get just a little bit more contrast um, happening. Let me zoom back out and see what I think. That's usable right there uh, and I could add a little more um, levels and contrast in Photoshop to make it pop. It's still a little flat for black and white. Uh, I do like to add clarity though whenever I've blown highlights because it will help bring a little more detail back into the hair in some different areas. So I think I'm probably going to end up going all the way up to about maybe 40 or 50 on my clarity and I'll zoom back in again just to see yep if I like that and voila I went from this that was a completely unusable image and nothing I could do with it to a cute little black and white with a natural expression from there I'll open it into Photoshop and do some magic on it and I can now offer uh, this client these images that you know if you don't know how to shoot in raw and fix uh, something in raw I would have had to thrown away I hope this is helpful to some of you and I'll talk to you soon